Hello everyone, and I hope that you're doing great. I also hope that you have been studying well for this upcoming chemistry examination tomorrow. I should have done this a long time ago, but time was against me. So I apologize for that, but it's better to be late than never. All right, and so this is my prediction of the 2024 chemistry examination for CSEC. Before I begin, let me quickly present my disclaimer. Again, as a reminder, this is a prediction of the likelihood of a topic showing up on the 2024 CSEC examination for chemistry, paper two. This is not an absolute determination of the said topics because no information about the actual examination is known to me. Hence, full revision of the syllabus or the topics is required. All right. Again, the presentation of this prediction will be in the format of one. I'm going to compare topics from May, June 2022, 2023, and also January 2022 and 2023. I was hoping to get the 2024 January paper, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. All right. And the second thing we're going to do is take a glance on the general topics as a means of reminder. And then we're going to look at the 2024 prediction. All right, so firstly, let us quickly now talk about the recap of the 2022 May-June and also January 2022 past papers. So in May-June 2022, you'd have been tested on, well, not you really, but previous um, students would have been tested on energetics, specifically endothermic and exothermic reactions. Balancing chemical equation, and notice I have an asterisk here, and the ones that I have asterisk on, those are really topics that have been testing quite frequently, and, um, and also topics that you should know if you go to any of the exam. All right, so again, these can also help you with the prediction because these are more likelihood of these topics to present themselves on the upcoming examination. So balancing equation is almost a must on all papers, all right? Calculating moles, particularly, yes. But on that paper, they have calculated moles and energy, especially knowing the formula for the energy change, all right? We have change in energy is equal to MC change in temperature. All right, so you need to know that formula as well. Calculating volume of gas is a frequently tested thing as well. Alloy, specifically steel, was tested on that here. Reaction of metals, reactive the series of metals, organic chemistry, which has always been testing, and um, because organic chemistry is a separate section of the syllabus, as you know that. So there will be something coming from that for sure. All right. Particularly um, on the 2022 January, uh, not January, June, May, May and June, um, they actually tested homologous series, naming basic organic compounds that what they tested. Um, types of chemical reactions when it comes on to homologous series, all right, and also isomers. That's what they did test on that paper. All right, they also tested the homologous series for alcohol as well on the organic chemistry on the 2022 May June paper. Um, electrolysis, pollution, and of course green chemistry, which is a thing now. So you need to pay attention to that. That may pop up again. All right. And for January 2022, acid-base reaction, balancing chemical equation. Again, you notice it, it's on both sides. Calculating volume of gas. Again, on both sides, if you notice that. All right. And also rate of reaction, factors affecting rate of reaction. And these are common topics. Um, osmosis and diffusion as relating to particulate theory of matter. Organic chemistry again, which is again is always a must, but it depends on what they're going to test you on. That's that's the question. And so allogenation and cracking, and cracking is the frequently one that is always showing itself up for the most part. Periodic table, trends of a periodic table, isomers and polymerization. And now for a recap on the 2023 papers, the May June 1st, and then we go to January 2023. So we have rates of reaction, again, is quite a common topic to be tested. State of matter, ionic equation, half equation, please know stuff like that as well. 
Also, you should know um, organic chemistry, again, as I said, is almost inevitable that you're going to get that. All right. So pay attention to that. Electrolysis, um, fermentation, all right, um, saponification, polymerization, which is frequently tested. Plant nutrients, especially in that area, they talk about magnesium and the use for magnesium, all right, in plants, all right, and they also look at different chemical reactions as well as it relates to pollution, um, because of course, you know, adding nutrients to soil and so on, it can also cause pollution, all right, Espec specifically for water and land, all right, so you look out for those things as well. All right, um, in terms of organic chemistry, let me just go back a little bit, in terms of organic chemistry, May, June, they actually tested like on combustion. All right, so you have um, pressing and sub, um, combustion there. And yeah, yeah, soap production, yeah, I mentioned that one. All right, cool, yes. So those are, the, those are basic organic chemistry they actually tested on, um, not too much in depth on May, June 2023, but you need to know the full coverage of organic chemistry as best as you possibly can. I know for January 2023, um, salt production was tested, acid-base reaction again, it, which was... The previous year, um, they also tested that. Balancing chemical equation, again, is a must, as I tell you. Do not go to the exam without knowing to balance equation. Calculate, well, you should not, well, once in chemistry, you should know to balance chemical equation. Um, calculating mole, and they were going to test on those type of things. Calculating mole somewhere here or there. All right. And again, just to make a note that some of these um, topics kind of overlap into each other. Because sometimes they mix them up. Okay. So in, in, you may get a question on something, and in that question, they, they put calculating moles, balancing equations. So, of course, these topics are diverse in terms of, you may see them come in as a mixture of different things. All right? That's why I have asterisk and those. Pay attention to those as well. Oxidation, they tested oxidation, redox technically, and they also tested on ox calculating oxidation number, to be specific. All right? So, they did that on January 2023. Organic chemistry, again, they specifically talk about isomers, cracking, combustion, all right, et cetera. There's a number of different things they actually tested on the January 2023 when they come on to organic chemistry. As a matter of fact, on January 2023, there are two organic chemistry questions. Uh, I think question five, as I remember it, and um, question three. And so they talk about cracking as well, as I mentioned that. Isomers, um, combustion, they talk about polymerization, reactions of uh, homologous series, all right? So again, play, pay attention to those when it comes on to organic chemistry. Um, diamond and graphite, which is tested twice within the past three years, all right? Um, again, polymerization, which is on the organic chemistry, and also gases and the production of gases. Again, look out for that, all right? That's very important. All right, and so let's quickly glance at the general topics. And so we have states of matter, if you want to, if you want to revise and know what topic you should cover. Um, I expand some of these so it's not as long as you may think it is. Um, change of states of matter, um, that also is something important you need to look at. Uh, mixtures and separation, atomic structures, isotopes, uh, periodic table and trends, structures and bonding, diamond and graphite, which is, again, a common topic. Mold concept, please know the calculator moles. Know to calculate mass, know to calculate volume of gases at STP or RTP. Avogadro's number, calculate number of particles, number of molecules. Please know to do that. Balancing chemical equation, they frequently test that, if not always test on that. Um, also, titration, acid base and salts, oxidation, reduction reaction, we call it redox reaction. Electrolysis, which I'm thinking coming this year, I'm thinking, I'm just, I, I don't know, I have a feeling for that one that electrolysis may come. Rates of chemical reaction, energetics, um, calculate, looking at exothermic and endothermic reactions and also calculating change of energy, which is enthalpy. Um, also carbon, um, hydrocarbon, specifically we're talking about homologous series of organic chemistry. Um, cracking, again, pay attention to that, make sure you know to at least do cracking. Um, know the IUPAC system, especially naming organic compounds, isomer, and all of mo most of the things I'm going through now is really organic chemistry. Isomer, esterification, um, saponification, which was tested at least once in the past three years. Um, polymers, fermentation, characteristics of metals, metallic compounds, know, know about oxides of metals, definitely. Reactive the series of um, metals, extraction of metals, 
use of metals, especially alloys and also precious metals, talking about copper, gold, and so on, um, silver, use of metals in living organisms, um, non-metals, preparation of gases, um, and this is now um, starting from non-metals going down, with, uh, well, not really, starting from use of metals and extraction of metals, that will be inorganic chemistry, all right? And so preparation of gases, use of gases, properties of water, green chemistry, again, is a new thing on the block, well, it's not a new thing, really, because we have been doing it and talking about it from ever since. But in terms of the syllabus and testing, uh, relatively new emphasis is now placed on it. So pay attention to that. You may see pop-up as well. Qualitative analysis. All right. And now for the prediction. Um, I'm really predicting that you may see some acid-base reaction on this paper based on what I've been seeing over the past three years. Calculating moles, which is a must. That's a given. Um, mass. And volume, look out for those. You may see those more likely. Electrolysis, you might see the pop up. Um, there might be a well, usually is a graph question that you may see. And what I'm looking at, you might want to look at rates of reaction or to, to look at rates of reaction and factors affecting rate of reaction on the graph. Also, volume of gas produced by reacting um, like a metal, for example, with a carb well, an acid with a carbonate, and even metal with, with, with an acid to produce hydrogen gas. So you may look at the production of oxygen, the production of carbon dioxide, the production of hydrogen, for example. All right, so you may look at those. All right, but generally looking at graphs, know how to put your independent and dependent um, variables, um, as I did in the biology crash course. If you want to just go back on that and you'll see how I did graph independent. Independent is always on the x-axis and dependent is always on the y-axis, so pay attention to those. Um, diamond and graphite, um, I have a... I will say semi-feeling about that. Not too strong about that coming. Um, but you might, you know. Green chemistry, please pay attention to that as well. Uh, how to reduce hazards in the environment. Yeah, pay attention to that, which is relating to pollution. Preparation of gases. Extraction of metals. I haven't seen that too heavily tested in the past two years. So I'm just looking at you. might see something pop, um, pop, popping up on that. Um, organic chemistry. Um, again, um, in specifically... As I said, they will be testing organ, um, organic chemistry for the most part. It's unlikely for them not to test you. Not to say it must come, but I'm just saying it's you know, a real high chance. Um, naming organic compounds, you want to pay attention to that. Polymers, for sure. Um, cracking and isomers. And those are the general things that they normally test you on when it comes on to organic chemistry. All right. Again, this is a prediction. All right. This is not, this is not to say that these are definitely topics that will come. All right. So at this point, I want to. Wish you luck on the examination. Um, really, I know that you have been working hard and anticipated me doing something where this is um, pertaining. And um, also, I want to thank you for watching as well. And I hope God bless you during the course of the ex rest of the examination series. All right. Or the course of the examination. So, all right. Good luck and take care. And I'll talk to you soon. All right.